affectionately known as the Badlands Guardian. It is located near Medicine Hat, southeast Alberta, Canada. The feature is clearly of an uncanny likeness to that of a past Native American chief. Viewed from the air, the feature has been said by nearly all whom explore it to resemble a human head wearing a full traditional headdress with his face gazing precisely westward. Although the chosen argument for its existence is it being the result of heavy rainfall, subsequently a groundslip formation, those who use such dismissive techniques have forgotten to mention or deliberately ignore the formation's longevity and lack of morphing due to geological activity, a continual direct contradiction to these claims of geological culpability. There is a good reason we share and indeed find such curious features intriguing. We have for a long time explored many enigmatic possible ancient landmarks, many terrestrial and many much further afield. Denied, dismissed on sight due to cognitive dissonance, not only due to modern paradigm, an inability to time travel back to their date of construction and photograph said undertaking. Yet most persuasive, the unthinkable, unimaginable, mind-boggling feats that, if real, many of these now classified earthworks would have taken to achieve. There are few fields of study, in our experience, which causes such a divisive reaction and difference in opinions within antiquarian research, as there is within the field of ancient, questionably possible pareidolia. We recently shared an ancient mountain known as Pedra de Gavia, and although the claim faces erosion, regardless of geological or of artificial origins, is in the most severe final stages of natural entropy, with this eventual likeness fading into a geological feature to no longer distinguishably recognizable as a possible pre-Columbian face in the near future. We cited and shared other research, the geological evidence of the face's surface seemingly cut later, being far more recently exposed to the elements. Yet, regardless, many simply dismiss the feature due to its lack of any visually distinguishable features, which, regardless of this site's possible natural origins, is a fate bestowed upon many of the truly oldest legacies of a lost world here on our planet. It must be noted that we do not claim to know these curious, often enormous landmark or stone-cut supposed monument or earthwork's true origins but the evidence to support it as indeed a possible achievement is enormous. The Nazca Lines, Darren Kuyu, the wonders of Egypt, the astonishing acoustic marvels of the caverns created in Malta, and so on. Not to mention the countless demonstrative feats, evidence of their capability to indeed work and eventually transport stones of mammoth proportions molded into blocks and astonishingly ancient displays of decorative artworks found all over the world. Thus, regardless of the dismissals, we find the Badlands Guardian highly compelling.